What will our words be like today? Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. It was a Sunday night in September, and most people were sleeping, when a small fire broke out in Thomas Farriner's bakery on Pudding Lane. Soon the flames spread from house to house, and London was engulfed in the Great Fire of 1666. Over 70,000 people were left homeless by the blaze that leveled four-fifths of the city. So much destruction from such a small fire. The Bible warns us of another small but destructive fire. James was concerned about lives and relationships, not buildings, when he wrote. The tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great bows. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. But our words can also be constructive. Proverbs 16.24 reminds us, Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. The Apostle Paul says, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. As salt flavors our food, grace flavors our words for building up others. Through the help of the Holy Spirit, our words can encourage people who are hurting, who want to grow in their faith, or who need to come to the Savior. Our words can put out fires instead of starting them. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from James chapter 3, verses 3 through 12. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal, or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. That's today's scripture reading from James chapter 3, verses 3 through 12. And now let's pray. Lord, we can always use help with the way we talk. For this day, help us to speak words of hope and encouragement to build up others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.